Hello, everyone, and welcome again to The Waiting Game, Chapter 35. <laughs> now, we are coming back to you guys, and we had another hookup again because life happens. In these COVID-19 times, life happens. We were supposed to have the mails on, but don't worry. They're coming. They're coming back because we would love to hear their, in their input and what they have to say. So um, we're going to kick it off today, and my girl, hold on, wait a minute, introduce everybody. We got Cherie. We got Tanya, and we have Maggie. Yes, I am Victoria L, and Maggie's gonna kick us out with what we're talking about today. Let's go. Hi, everyone. So our topic for today is when do you walk away? Meaning, after you've dated someone, do you remain friends? Do you continue to text? Do you continue to talk? Or do you cut it cold turkey and say, we dated, it didn't work out, time to move on. So from your ladies or you all's experience, what does that look like after you've dated someone? Do you stick around? Do you pop back up? Do you cut it off? Do you keep them in the corner pocket? Oh, okay. Right. Right. That's, that's a quite interesting question because I think it varies. I know for me it does. Um, between the types of relationships that I've had with these males. Um, if I've already have developed a friendship with them, and let's say we dated in college, and I know that they're married, we're both with kids, you know, 10, 15 years later, I still give a high or bye if I see them. <laughs> um, clearly, people pop up on Facebook's feeds all the time. If I see a little happy birthday, I'll shoot them a little happy birthday. I don't, I don't see it, nothing. This is just for me, nothing wrong with speaking, being cordial. And I wouldn't even say we remain friends because it's not like we're talking on a daily basis. They're not trying to pursue me. I'm not trying to pursue them. Um, and now this is just for guys I dated in college, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it out there like that. Yes. I don't have any contact with them uh, other than, you know, just cordial things like on Facebook saying a happy birthday. Okay. But with recent guys that I've dated, because I kind of went on a dating craze where I was doing <laughs> online dating. <laughs> Hello, I'm single. Yes. I was ready. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and I remember uh, Vicky, what's that saying? They used to always be like, how you dating somebody if you ain't out there or if you're not making yourself available? You have to make yourself available. How are they going to know you single? Right. You got you to gotta date. Exactly. So I was trying the online dating thing and I met a few people here and there. <laughs> <laughs> I went out with a few people. And I can say it's maybe like two or three that'll still like hit me up and be like, hey, what's up? Let's go hang out at like Dave and Buster's. But. And you say. And I say yes. That's the question. And you say yes. Okay. And I say yes. If, if, I'm, if I'm still <laughs> single, I say yes. If they still have my number, I still have the same number. My number ain't changed since high school, so right. I don't mind going out with them. And they know, you know, we didn't have an intimate relationship, so it was literally we went out, we saw that we weren't going to take our relationship to the next level, not even be committed or exclusive. And so it was like, why not? Why can't we be cordial and keep in contact if I'm in your area? Hey, you want to go out? You want to go hang out? I mean, pretty much. There's several people I've dated that are good company, good friends, good, mm -hmm. you know, just good men. They just were not the men for me. And so you don't we think made that it's that like, so you don't think, let me, just hear me out. So you don't think that if you date, if you used to date or see how it worked and it didn't work before, it didn't work because y'all were together. So, or if it wasn't the right time, put it that way. It wasn't the right time, whatever. So you don't think that them calling you up saying, hey, what you doing? You want to go out? Does that give them any type of false hope? You know what? If they ain't shooting they shot, <laughs> I'm sorry. So that's on them. I mean, I just want to know. I can't uh, read minds. That's my thing. I can't right. read minds. And did y'all tell me that the last one? Well, yeah. I assume my, uh, 
you know, a couple right. relationships ago that I was in an exclusive relationship. I don't do that no more. I can't read minds. So <laughs> if somebody want to hang out, I'm all for it for right. good company or whatever because I know how to date myself. So right. mm -hmm. what's wrong with still going out with good company or if they invite me somewhere and like, hey, it's a party. Now, during the pandemic, let me be, I have not had any of this, okay? Your girl been solo. Solo. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> so but, like, um, yeah, during this pandemic, yes. But so there are other people who I have like, cut off. So as, in some instances, you know, where the relationship has gone sour and it wasn't a, a mutual ending. Yeah, that that cut off all the way. But just the dynamic of the relationship. Anybody else? Mm-hmm. Sheree? Yeah, Sheree, what you thinking? You think you look very not, you, Right. You what know, are you thinking? <laughs> because I've been thinking about like the guys that I actually dated. It's not that many. So like for so me, you don't have they, to say you don't have to say relationship. It could be any type of like. But that's the thing. So my idea of dating wasn't everybody else's idea of dating. Unless you said it, we were just exactly. hanging out. So I hung exactly. out. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. I hung out with a lot of guys. So in my mind, if we're not dating, then I don't owe you an explanation as to why if anything happened. That is how I was thinking at that time. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So just to think about like the actual guys that I've dated, I've, most of them are like a no-go. Like I just completely, cause I already knew like this is not gonna work. Like mm -hmm. me and you are not fit. So there's no point to being like, hey, how is your friends? How's your, your child or whatever, whatever. It's just like, nah, like what's the point? So, but anybody else, like the people that I've hung out with, like, yeah, because we started out as friends. So I feel like you most, of, most of our friendship, yeah, like our friendship is good. And I feel like I can tell you, hey, this is, I mean, we're just hanging out. Like if it's something evolved from hanging out, then okay, cool. Then we could work on that. We could, we could communicate th that through. But other than that, no. <laughs> Most of them, I just be like, you know, it's a done deal. And I think, but I think it's like mutual on both ends because I okay. speak my piece. So I'm saying, hey, you know, I just really don't think that this is the relationship we need to be in together. I don't think I'm the woman for you. I don't feel like you're the man for me. I don't think I, you know, put this together. So, and it's okay. Like, ain't no love lost, no heart broke, you know, no heart broken. Like if I see them on the streets, of course. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? But okay. that's it. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. Like, I'm not about to text you. I'm not even going to be, I'm not personally going to be on Facebook because that's just not me. I just don't. But what if they text you, though? Then I'd be side on it. Because I would ask, what do you want? Mm -hmm. Like, okay. if you texted me and I know okay. you're, first of all, you text me, I know you're in a relationship, I know you got kids, uh -huh. I know you're married, then uh -huh. my response is going to be is, what do you want? Got it. Like, why are you texting me? It's either that or I just won't answer the text. Yeah, right. So, yeah. so what if they not? But what if they're not? Like, what if they single too and they're waiting? I mean, if they're <laughs> single too, then and if it was a good, if it was a good relationship, that's mm -hmm. the key. Like, if it was a good relationship, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be on a limb, even if it wasn't a good relationship. But you come right. back, you speak a different language, right? Okay, you might got my attention, mm -hmm. and I, and I everything else to the back okay you you apologizing cool 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 we good we can communicate then we'll go from there but right yeah other than that if you same same <laughs> and we're, and we're okay right. so <laughs> i will say i am just gonna be vulnerable because that's why we're here go ahead um i have a difficulty cutting people off now let me let me take this back <laughs> now if somebody did me dirty like really really has hurt me to the core right. um i think it, it, you because if you ask some guys they'll be like Who, like she just cut me off like I, like you did your do you know whatever and then i just cut you off because i felt like if especially if you were new if you were new when you messed up eh, we good but if the issue is that i've dealt with so many people from my past Mm -hmm. and they are not making room for the new so they're still around 
And if they were to, I'm sorry, unfortunately, I am guilty of saying like, hey, uh, oh, it's such a special birthday. Oh, happy birthday, you were on my mind. Or God put me <laughs> And my spirit is supposed See? to my spirit. Your spirit. Happy birthday. Not which is not <laughs> which is not the right. I'm not trying to bring God into this. I know, know but, but <laughs> because he wouldn't, he wouldn't do I that. But um, I think it's tough for me. But like for instance, okay, if you heard me like this one guy did, we're gonna call him Glass. If he if you heard me like he did, which it was just very traumatic. Like it was just like what? Like and I realized like looking back on it, like dang, this dude used me, and I didn't even know. But now I know. And I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I know, like, oh, he used me. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. if, if I see any, if I see him in the street, it won't be nice. I have some, un, I have some things that he has to apologize about, but he probably won't. He probably mm -hmm. won't, and I have to be okay with that. That's not going to stop me from moving on. So, yeah. unfortunately, I have a um, issue or a fault with going back to the past, but that is because of boredom. Let me just be honest. Is now, is it? Is it you really going back or do are you just communicating with them? Hmm. Right. I mean, because you're not going back to date them. I mean, I'm not. And plus, that was years ago. It was. So, so you saying, not saying you don't think about it because you make memories with people. I, I, think, do. I do. And that's I what it that. is. A song. Uh, yep. something, <laughs> <a place. laughs> yep. something yep. can remind you of yes. a man yes. or a point in your life where a memory had taken place i mean it yes. could be something on the radio riding in your car it could be something funny you yeah know, we have some funny memories at different yes. places different right. times we do. you know restaurant okay yes. oh those things like that make you think about a person and you maybe you just want to say, hey, it, it was on your spirit. You was on my mind. <laughs> right. But, do, <laughs> but does she have to reach out? Right. And exactly. I was like, hey, you need to pray for that person. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what it is then. Maybe that's yeah. what it is. Because I'm like, um, I know how I am. And if I reach out and if it's not settled, if it isn't settled with me, like we're not talking, like I know for a fact that we're not for each other. It didn't work. And I mm -hmm. think in my mind, unfortunately, like some women do, or and not even just women, everybody does this. They think like, well, maybe they reach back out, so they might be okay right. now. Well, maybe, uh, maybe they'll be different. No, uh, but um, because if they ain't had no conversation with God, they ain't not different. Mm -mm. Right. Um, so I think eh, I'm trying to get better, but some of the, like I said, if you ask a certain amount of people about me, they'll be like, oh, she just left. You, you're right mm -hmm. about that. So uh, that's my main, I'm trying to get better because I know for a fact that it's blocking my vision from seeing who really is trying to step up to the plate. Because I'm so worried about like, oh, you're not like him. Oh, well, he made me do this. Why are you not like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. You know? So, I mean, that was on my spirit, but like Facebook is a trap. Facebook is a trap. People's birthdays, mm -hmm. this what happened 10 years ago. This yeah. what happened four yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. They ain't said nothing to me. They ain't said nothing to me. So why should I say anything? To you? I'm sorry. Exactly. They ain't said. They not worried about me. So you gotta move on. I'm 35. What you doing? You, you know. Yeah. So that's me. So what about you, Sister Maggie? Right. So I will take it from the aspect of Tanya saying, depending on the situation and how you dated them or what type of relationship it was, mm -hmm. I feel like that's how I kind of deal with them but i will so i would also say i have a difficulty of cutting people off and i think the reason why is i've never had like some dramatic or traumatic breakup experience like not that i know of anyway like i never knew somebody cheated on me i never knew somebody um not on your side whatever. It, it's always been like coming to a point to realize we don't need to be together or we're not going in the same direction. So let's part ways. Right. So it's never been something like, I hate you. I'm mad at you. Don't ever talk to me again. Um, so for me, I feel like I still keep doors open. That might not be a thing either because they might need to be hard shut closed. But since it really wasn't anything bad, I tend to like happy birthday, maybe happy father's day, maybe a Merry <laughs> Christmas, maybe a happy Easter. Um, but do they do that for you? Some of them do. Is 
is it out of so board? Are, okay, so let's clarify, right? These are the single people. Then you have a couple married people that yep. you date had. Mm -hmm. And to Cherie's point, they hit you up randomly. And I'm like, you are married with kids. What do you want? Or you Hello? ignore it. Because it's like, wait, you keep coming. I said, what do you want to say hello the first time or second time? Nope. Right. Just that that mm -hmm. Nope. Don't want that. And, mm -mm. Um, so, and then you get to the point where Tanya says she went on this dating craze in social media. <laughs> yes, and when did. you date people Wrong. casually, I yeah. feel like sometimes it's easier to just be like, I don't want to deal with you. Like you might say, hey, but the conversation doesn't go any further. Right. Mm -hmm. You might answer their text, but I'm not really going out with them. Um, exactly so yeah i don't know i can't, i think i keep the door open though i don't i don't yeah. shut them but why that's um, the question that's the question why you're right because because it wasn't bad situations i think it's if you've realized and looked in the mirror and grown and matured maybe there's a possibility of something happening mm. maybe not mm. so you leaving it open for hope that's what it sounds like to me. <clears throat> mm. I don't think I'm hoping for something to happen, though. I think I'm just saying, if it does, it does. I'm not hoping and wishing that I get with anybody in my past. I'm just like, I'm here. I'm single. I'm not committed to anybody. So I think I'm open to whatever may come my way and present itself in what I'm looking for. Right, right, right. I feel the same way, too, Maggie. Because... <laughs> I ain't burning, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm burning bridges with certain people, especially if it's just, you know, something very small. If you just know you didn't get along with somebody, mm -hmm. I'm just like, as long as I have made it very clear that we're not going any further. Like, I don't get offended if they text me unless they on some late night tip and on some, <laughs> oh, you know, on some crazy right. mess. Right. But as far as like a basic happy birthday, Merry Christmas, I mean, what's wrong with saying it back? And then if I see they try to start hitting me with the good morning text and a good night, good morning, beautiful. beautiful. Then I'm like, uh, that's <laughs> when it needs to stop. And I know they're going to be upset because you're wanting something else. Right. But if it's genuinely just yeah. to be on some good person type stuff, like, a holiday, happy birthday, happy Mother's Day. Like, I like that. To me, what's wrong with... What's, I don't see anything wrong with that. Well, mm -hmm. Tanya, see, I, now, this is one where I would love the male perspective. Me too. Because, right? When you get somebody out the blue, you have spoken to them in six months, and they're saying, hey, how are you? Right. Come on now. I'm fine. I'm not with you. I'm good. Right. Are, you <laughs> now? are you trying to get back in? Are you open the door? Like, why do you randomly, or are, to Victoria's point, are you bored and you just scrolling through your phone and you're like, oh, I haven't talked to Maggie in a month. Mm -hmm. Let me check up on her, see what she's doing. Let me yep. see if she's married yet. Let me see if she's in a relationship. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I'm like, if that's the second question you asking me once you text me after, hey, how you doing? You still single? What? Can you get out of my business? But they in your see, business. See, but now that's what it like is. It. I don't like that. I don't like them, that. Them ain't the relationships you need to keep open in. Because you know. No, right. And that's where after that question, I'm like, yeah. keep it moving. Yeah, but see, they're don't, looking for something else. Because it don't mean cut them off for that conversation. It means we're done. Right. right. Like, right. Don't, don't hit me up no more. We're good. I'm, I'm well. You already know I'm doing why. Well, because you know why? You've been trolling me on Facebook and social media. <laughs> anyway. So since well, let me ask out No, I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. People troll. I mean, women, they men, do. whoever. Because we want to know. We want to know what's going on. I'm not saying yeah. I haven't done it before. <laughs> but you troll because you want to know. So when they ask you how they're doing, more than likely they done already seen on your Facebook. Right. Your Instagram, how you doing? So they trying to bring up a conversation. Uh, now, if they bring it up at 10 o'clock at night, to Maggie's point, absolutely not. Girl, my phone be off at 10. That mother be on. <laughs> <laughs> if you call me, you go straight to bed. Okay, okay. So let me ask y'all this. Let's say you do meet a guy and you start dating him and he's still mm -hmm. hitting up another woman with the happy birthdays. Hey, how you doing? He's mm -hmm. technically still single. Are you offended by it? Are you offended if he's still hitting other women from his past that he did want to date? Would you be offended if the guy that you're dating now, let's say if we're, were, are we exclusive? Perspective, would still be Thank you, Victoria. That's my question. Hello, are we exclusive? Right, 
but hold on. But but with that same question, we gotta ask ourselves the same thing. Like if our man, whoever we're dating, is he gonna feel some type of way because we're texting or we're responding to whomever it is? He is. It, 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 but that's only if you are even though for us it's just a a friendship we're just that nice we Mm -hmm. we legit are just that nice it is legit like see that's where the friends that's where the friend sisterhood that's where the sisterhood splits me and maggie that's where me and maggie go get out of the screen like um um, if we're not dating if it has not been said that we're exclusive i don't care It, it hurts it might sting a little bit but i don't care what you do i have no right to be upset with you I can't do it. Now, Tanya, Tanya don't believe that. It's true. I will I mean, be I like, you nice. cut your phone off. I make little sarcastic <laughs> stuff like, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, so you're hollering at Maggie, huh? You seeing Maggie this weekend? Like, <laughs> I have that bone in me where I'll say stuff sarcastically and be like, mm, okay. <laughs> So is that what you I don't, think, I don't think we're split. I think it's just like if we are seeing it, then of course I think all of us will say something. But if I'm no, not seeing it, no, Tanya believes. She yeah. said it was the last one with the I men. I'd be like she believes that if there's a guy that she's talking to, she <laughs> said this on the other show, which you guys should tune in with the guys. Actually, there was episode, yeah, I believe, uh, six. Yeah. Um, five or six. Tune in. Uh, but she said on the show that if sh- somebody was caught out in a restaurant, yeah, <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Was woman, and that wasn't it. it. Okay, sorry, that's what she said. Tanya was like, but oh, that's God. because now I be asking these men, you know, do they date multiple people at one time, or are they do they date one person at a time? Because typically, in my mindset, I don't have time. To be yeah. opening my phone, calling, dating multiple people at one time. As far as like even talking and trying to build a relationship, like it's literally one guy. If another guy happens to come in and starts showing me more time and wanting to spend more time with me, then I have to slowly start weaning the other guy off because I just, y'all, I just don't have time. And I expect that expectation from the person who I'm with. Like, you, Tanya, you said slowly weaning Hello? the guy off. So while you're mm-hmm. slowly weaning, you're still going on dates, going to dinner, still talking Not to the really. No. It's <laughs> really just conversation. <laughs> this, okay. It's really phone calls. It's just phone calls. I'm sorry. I just it's feel really like phone calls because somebody else has caught my attention. And <laughs> y'all, I really cannot date multiple people. I, I just can't do it. I understand. I used to be like it's that. Hard for me. <laughs> I used to be like that. I used to it's be hard like that true. until 2020 hit. Yeah. And uh, or <laughs> I used to be like that until I started because my brother, um, which he might be on the show one day, his crazy self. But one of my brothers said he thinks that we should date multiple people at a time until you find the right person for you because it but i'm like this that does take i'm like you tanya a little bit like it takes a lot of work it, it really does a lot, a lot of work to get it to does. know people and but you know what though like cream it'll rise to the top okay you you that doesn't mean that you cut off because what happens when you get mad at him or he make you mad then you cut everybody else off though so they supposed to be waiting Ooh. in the corner they supposed to be waiting in the corner for you to call them back but i would say i date multiple people <laughs> it's just they typically don't overlap I put it like that. Overlap. They don't overlap because if I see somebody else one and start gaining my attention and is a better fit, then that's else? when I technically, um, yeah, when I just be like, okay, it's I'm not interested anymore, and that's what I mean by slowly winning them off because I'm like, I'm I'm not interested anymore. I feel like so I'm, I'm bored. I guess. Tanya, with that. What? The newness of getting to learn somebody new is exciting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The thrill of, oh my gosh, I don't know anything about him. So we can talk on the phone for two hours at night and it's new and fresh. That's exciting, okay. right? right. That is right. Exciting. You've been talking to this person, say, four or five months now. And you're like, oh, this new person I caught your attention. For the moment, it seems exciting and fun. Mm-hmm. But then you get to know him and those masks start to come off. And then you're like, 
But dang, why the heck did I stop talking <laughs> and giving this one my attention? Right. And this is mm-hmm. 10 times worse. Sure enough. Just because it was fresh and new, but you didn't give the other one a try. So you was like, bye, close the door because something no. is new. They don't, they don't let back to the friend zone. That's what it is, really. <laughs> you said you can't close your door. But that's where they went. To the friend zone. But Tanya, they're all in the friend zone because you're not, you're not exclusive. That's right. What I'm yeah, it, it, everybody is in the friend zone. Just one is just closer to the line of dating <laughs> exclusively. Exactly, y'all. That's what I'm saying. When y'all say y'all can't close no doors, right. I'm just one, time, me. one at a time. <laughs> Who has my attention know. today? If somebody be like, oh, I'm going to on Friday, Saturday. I, 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 okay, I, I, that's I, what it is. Tanya, you sound crazy. Oh, yeah. I love I it. I love it. Y'all already know that. You got a little jealous, jealous bone in me too. You That's what I said. You do. <laughs> That's exactly why I said if I see a woman's name come up on the phone, I'll be like, eh, I'm going back Maggie this weekend. <laughs> Especially if you in my presence, not saying they can't get no call from nobody. That's just like why. Not I'm not in the presence. Like I can physically see you giving your I do that. I'll be else. like, oh. Mm. And I sarcastically say something, then I move on by my business. I don't be like technically mad. You, Vicky, you say, oh, it stings a little bit. You just it don't do that. Right. But you, it doesn't matter. It, it, it stings, but I have to go on with the fact that we're not together. Yeah. But to say, I mean, I think I still would, if I saw, I'd be like, oh. Oh, no, we say something now. You ain't valid. That's what she said. That's what she said. But I think, I think, say said, I think Vicky's like, it's things, but I won't say nothing. Tanya, yes, I exactly. Things, I'm not going to say nothing. Say nothing. <laughs> I'll say something to y'all. I'll say something to y'all. Be like this. Oh, my girl, let me tell you what happened. I'll say something to the group, but I'm not going to say nothing to him. He'll just know by my actions. But we he know by my actions. He'll know by my actions. You have to use your words and communicate with me. They can't read okay. your words, man. They can't read your words. I mean, I know I have some, you know, I know I have to communicate, but you ain't going to get me, sir. If if I feel, if I feel like Tanya, Tanya, like, I, we all kind of feel the same way, but like um if like okay to be honest when you're on a date with somebody it's only correct that your phone should be on do not disturb right that's how i feel <laughs> unless it's an emergency and it's your mama or your something very oh, child. going on yep. I mean, it's your, be oh, like yeah. blowing up like back to back oh oh no 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 my mama mama call, call, she don't be wanting that unless she call <laughs> back to back then it's something for real for real right, right. but see right. okay I think I, it kind of happened to me with when I was out on a date with somebody, and I was like, "This, this people not get off the phone." So what did I do? I got on the phone. Oh, just, just to see. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I'm not gonna argue with you in public because I don't do that. I don't argue with people in public. But uh, I'm going to get my attention somewhere else. I'm not gonna sit there like a duck and just be like, "Oh, he's on the phone." Oh no, this date is over. Uh, see, I, I, would, I would say something. I'll just be like, so. How would you say it? See, okay, so let's do, do a whole show. Okay, so <laughs> we're the date. Oh. Okay, we're over here dating and whatnot. Okay, and, oh my gosh. Um, are we on a date or are we not? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on one moment. Hold on one moment. I'm on. On. I, I promise I'm going to get back to you. Hold on. I got to take this call real quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, she ain't doing nothing. Let me keep talking on the phone. Oh, okay. Right. No, keep going. No, no, no. Keep going. No, I was going to let him get off the phone. And then we'll have the whole conversation. Okay, bet. So it depends on what you about to say. Oh, nothing. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I had to take that call. You had to take the call so you could get up from the table. You couldn't say, wait a minute. You couldn't do anything else to say, hey, my apologies. This, that, and the third. We're on a date. I understand. Sometimes we get phone calls. We might need to do it. Just do it politely. And if your response is, well, you know what it is. What my it is. bad. My bad. Okay, bad. Yeah, so, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave because this is not how I. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do that. I ain't mean it. I ain't mean it. I ain't mean it. I, I can try again it. another day. You but know, on, Cherie. You okay. want to go out. Let's go out again tomorrow. Okay. I'm right. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, y'all I'm talking Cherie. about the dudes being on the phone, but y'all, I had a real life experience where. Ooh, I was that person 
being disrespectful by being on the phone. And I didn't realize it was disrespectful. Like, I, some, I don't even remember. It must, I don't know if it was a family member, it's something, I was waiting on a call, and I said, excuse me, I really need to pick this up. And I picked it up, and maybe it was a two-minute conversation, and I did not realize the dude was getting so mad. Victoria, he did not use his words. <laughs> so I didn't know he was sitting over there boiling about the No, I mean, right? he's so the thing is, it was the, the call of certain though. Girl, we, was, we kept talking, and he was like, this whole time, did you not realize that was rude? Like, mm. <laughs> dude, you could have told me that 30 minutes ago. This is why you done got silent? Like, I didn't know. And so then I felt super bad because I was like, you never know how somebody takes your actions and how you're doing unless they communicate. And then he was like, this date can be done and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, let's try it again. Let's, you know, I didn't really keep talking because I thought Dang, he was, was like, on that y'all, he was so <laughs> mad at me. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. Sorry. Did you ever do still it talk to him, Maggie? Yeah. No. Do you still talk to him? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was rude and he thought, yeah, he, yeah, no. I, I, mean, I, I get it. And it's not even that know. I'm not using, it's not that it's that I'm not using my words, but I, it's all about time and place. And I don't, and I know me, I know me. If I feel slighted in some kind of way and I'm getting like real, like, uh, I have to remain silent before I go off. Right. I have to get quiet. If I do, if I say, "Oh, excuse me," I just want you to know that that was really rude. I can tell you that when I get home and I'm relaxed. But you don't have to. Get, you have to get the quiet time. You got to give me the quiet time for a little bit because it is very rude. Right, right, right. Because I've done it too, but unfortunately, in the past, when I've done it, it's blown up. So I should because I, it has. It's blown up. But what made y'all even do it is what I'm trying to figure. Like in my mind, when I'm on a date, like nothing else should be in. I said that. Hello, all about you, boo. Right. right. Like it's me and that person, you know, getting to know each other. So if if it's not like an emergency call, or if it's not like your your job, whatever, whatever, then what's the point of you even answer it? Like you can answer it when we walk out the door. You can answer it even when you go to the bathroom. You be like, yeah. oh, I need to go to the bathroom, and then you can check whatever you need to check. Come back. I don't know nothing. Cause in my mind. You went to the bathroom. Oh. Well, man. Where that sneak in? Just wait till you get off the I date. To put I mean, that's what I'm saying. You can wait till you get off the date. That's my logic. But if you really got to do it, I mean, at least go to the bathroom. At least show the person that you're with the respect that, hey, I said. I it makes you think you crazy, though. But see, the thing is, they'll see, they'll be like, oh, they're going off on the phone. They're going outside. That's a whole nother, you know. I, I'm with right. you. Now, but I'm just saying. That, yeah. All that, yeah. Okay. But I just feel like, yeah, like you said, I've learned to put my phone in my purse. And Hello? And put it on like, vibrate. Hey, put it on vibrate. Bust me out. I learned my lesson quickly. I was like, okay. <laughs> so it's never happened again? You've never done it again? No. Girl, I learned lessons quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Even when, like, somebody's calling you from work. If I'm on a date, like you would, on a date, but you, you know, would not be calling me here constantly. Like I'm not saying like if if your phone is like completely going off, like I'ma say something. Do you need to get that? Cause <laughs> it's a little distracting. Just saying. or maybe you know what? Or maybe actually I've done this before. Maybe I I'll walk away. Let me walk away and go to the bathroom. Why you handle your business on the phone? Right. So when I come you back, you better not be true. on the phone. <laughs> you better not be like on you the phone. Go You're right. Mm -hmm. I like that too. What well, do y'all believe in second chances? Maybe that might be the next episode. Do y'all believe in giving <laughs> people second chances? <laughs> I'm yes. just saying. So, okay, guys, think about that, and also think about. When is it a is you are you being complacent in a relationship, being like oh well let me just stay here because ain't nobody else around? Mm -hmm. or are you saying this guy is helping me grow, mm -hmm. like really helping me grow? Like so, uh, that's two that's two different topics. <laughs> that that is. Want, it is, but they can all be combined. Let me tell you something: relationships you can combine anything. Yep, it's all about one thing. It's all about a relationship. It's all about love and trying to get that person that you connect with. So, right. guys, all right. So, everybody good? We so good. Is who? The next episode of The Waiting Game, Chapter 35. And we might have the males. Hopefully, God willing, we do. 
but it doesn't mean that we can't we don't want them it just means that life is happening that way because they got business to take care of as a man should. Yeah. okay so uh we love you guys follow us on instagram the Wedding Game, Chapter 35. Follow us on Facebook. This show will air tomorrow, Friday, at 5 o'clock p.m. Make sure you tune in. Please make comments. I, we always get these comments to ourselves separately, but we don't get them to where people can actually talk about what's going on. I don't know if there's, I don't know what that's about. Well, that's a whole yeah. conversation. We need some male perspectives, so we do, and we need them to be open not just with us but with the world. Yes, but maybe that queen, if they're single, maybe that queen is listening. Oh. You don't know where we're gonna go with this, so you know, always be ready, be yes. ready, be ye ready, okay? You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who's watching, saying that's my, that's my wife, hmm. okay? Hmm. All right. Hey. Speak it to existence. You do. You speak it. You put it out there. It could be your wife. It could be anybody. So, hello. Spread this out there. We love you guys. And we will talk to you guys later. Have Bye. a great weekend. Oh, be safe. July 4th. Be safe. Please. If you have spikes all around here in Georgia, be safe. Okay? All right. Be Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, everybody.